Hey there, folks. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Detroit Become Human. I'm Hugh Grant, your nomadic gamer, and today we've got Connor and Hank. Now, there was a little bit of a dust-up between the two at the cop station, but hopefully, now that they're out on the job, Connor can find a way to smooth things over between him and Hank. All right, fine. I didn't want to listen to the music anyways. Plastic with you? <laughs> You're a friendly guy, Hank. Number five on the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me set me back a week's wages better. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. What are we scanning for? <gasps> Who are you? Hello, Pedro Abdar. 2005. Jeez, bitch. Dude, you're so young. <laughs> Gary Case. Breach of hygiene regulations. So what? I don't need a brush. Ah. Not brush. What was I going for? I don't need to wash my hands. Not after every customer. <laughs> 88. I can scan him too. 85. <laughs> what else can I get? Ah, nobody else. <laughs> Alright, I'm in. Damn straight. <laughs> hey, you won't regret this. I'll leave him alone. He's a businessman. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? What? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Alright, jeez. I'm fine. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. <laughs> You've even got a brown nose and apology program. <laughs> That's a cyber life thought everything, huh? Almost. Here you go. Uh, I already scanned him. Wait, can I scan someone else? Can I scan? Can, ah, they're out of reach. Alright, forget that noise. I'll leave that thing here. Uh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. No, I'm just gonna stand here. Nah, I'm playing. See? But I wanna scan the... Can I... Mm. I wanna scan the other people. Ooh. Uh... I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. <laughs> but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody <laughs> does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Thank you. <laughs> uh. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um. Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. I admit it, you love me. Why can't you get past that? Ah, we'll get along so much better once you say it. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Oh, good. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. They usually do. Androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna let that go. Let him Can I enjoy ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? No, no, I don't want to do that. Why do you hate androids so much? You force my hand? Really? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? Once. A few months back. Shot me in the a arm. Was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? So, some. I don't know everything. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and you spend a lot of time in dogs. So what's your conclusion? I think... I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meeting. Your face I'll be in the car if you need me. Oh my goodness. Piece of work. Ain't he? <laughs> hey, Connor. Yo. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. no. I'm coming. <laughs> Give me a minute. Gotta adjust my britches. Jeez. Now, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here. Oh. Oops. I interrupted. My bad. But the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time... Hello? Rock Somebody hears a strange noise. We're gonna need more cops. <laughs> That's usually the hey, way. Were you but... really making a report back there in the elevator? Yeah. Just by closing your eyes? I'm an android, Correct. dude. Of course I can. Shit. Wish I could do that. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! <laughs> Stay behind me. Got it. <laughs> Don't hurt me. I bar the doorway with my android body. Whoa. Oh, dude, what is that? Whoa! What the fuck is this? They're birds, bro. They're birds. Uh, Calm yourself. Jesus, this place stinks. Whoa! It's another one. Well, it looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Bird, 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 bird. Hey, look! I'm in a John Woo film. Oh my goodness. Alright, okay. That's enough of that goofiness. Well, I want to know what that's about. What's. Oh, come on. Let me. Let me inspect those mazes. Nice fresh air. Oh, what's that? The red ice epidemic. Yep, drugs are everywhere. No, I don't. No, read, read the stupid article so I can get it in the. Yeah, there we go. All right, good. Put it down. I don't care anymore. Uh, nothing. 
Really? I, I, they don't even want me to move this? They won't let me move this? Can I go in here? No. Alright, fine. Did you guys just land right back after I left? Okay. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! <laughs> Uh, urban farm poster. Huh. I did it. Recycled paper. Can I? All right, let's take it down. Hello. What are you? Codes and, and mazes? Real books. That found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook. But it's indecipherable. Yeah, there's nothing. Bird seed. I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. <laughs> oh, come on, Lieutenant. Don't be upset. What do we got over here? RT. Military jacket. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Uh, be kind, Lieutenant. Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. <laughs> the detective, was that, was that sarcasm? Dude, dude, I gotta get in there. Uh, uh, I gotta use the bathroom. I gotta go. I gotta go real bad. Uh, can you... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Isn't that familiar? Any idea what will it means? Save us. RA9. Written 2,471 times. Jeez, Pete. It's the really? same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Thank you. I want to look at other stuff first. Yes, let's sample the pigeon drop. Oh, There's blue blood in here. Up. I just ripped these out. Deactivated. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. <laughs> Up. Still wet. So, wait, you're saying... Now this guy come on come on come on come on come on come on ah there we go just recently was writing all this RA9 garbage so he's here Writing RA9, 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 over and over and over again. Then he hears us. And he stumbles.
<laughs> okay. Is there anything else I can link at in here? Get out of here. I wanna look at the mazes. I wanna look at the mazes. Dang nabbit. Traces of galvanized steel. Finger marks. What's this about? Recently broken. So what do we got? So, ran out of here. Ran, knocked that down. Ran towards the entrance. And decided to shoopity whoop whoop. Heard us enter. Oh, right, because that's not the immediate, that's a hallway door. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, Detroit police. He runs, he falls. He knocks that down after hearing, before he heard the lieutenant kick down the door. Scrambles further to... What is the deal with you androids and just running to the friggin' attic? Oh boy. Hank. Hank. All right, Rupert. Nice and quiet. Come on out, buddy. That goddamn fucking pigeons. Dag never do. Chase it. I'm chasing. I'm chasing. Nope. No, you don't. There he is. I see him. No, no, no. Going this way. We're a little balanced. We'll go to the safety detour. Ah, I see him. Don't let him escape. Get him. Yeah, buddy. Rupert! Rupert, you can't- Aw. Yeah, don't let him get out. Ah. I'm going risky. Gotta risk it. No, Rupert. Aha. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Hup. Yes. Rupert, you can't escape me. Shut up. I'm working here. Rupert, for the love of all that is good and decent, man, stop already! Ah, uh, direct. Excuse me. Pardon me. Come on. Excuse me. Rupert. 
Oh crap. Uh, Dag nabbit. Come here, come on, come on. Oh shit! Oh shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. Uh, we know what it looks like. We'll find it. Man. Hey, Gunner. Still... Yeah, yeah, what's up? Nothing. All right, fine, be that way. All right, whatever, man. I'll get you, Rupert. I'll get you. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. If you want to follow along with the story as it happens, there will be a link to my Twitch in the description below. And um, as always, uh, thanks again, and until next time.